Well, boys, the day of reckoning has finally came. Emperor is dropping in two days. No, I'm just messing with you. That didn't get announced, thankfully. But the Grand Summoner's anniversary live stream has concluded, or the anniversary premiere. That's more so what it was. And this thing had a lot of cool stuff in it. We got to see player stats. We got to see who was the favorite Grand Summoner's characters. And all that I'm going to say is Vin got hold by being number 20. I don't know what the hell y'all want. The Simps won because Juno was number one. I can't believe it. And we also got a lot of new stuff and some insight on what's coming in the future. And unfortunately, the only thing that didn't get announced with this is no new crossover. They haven't said which one that was, which I was almost certain they were going to talk about in this. Either way, though, a lot of good stuff came out from this. And uh, let's just start with the news right off the bat, what everybody wants to know. First and foremost... Gilliam is getting awoken. Yep, we're getting awoken Gilliam, and we're actually getting a unique trial event with him in the sense that the rewards we get. Usually, if you guys know, whenever a player beats Gilliam or a group of players beat Gilliam, everybody gets like a certain amount of crystals. Well, the awoken Gilliam trial to, of course, awaken this man will actually give you 30 crystals max every time 100 summoners beat him. And from what I understand, I don't think Gilliam is extremely, extremely difficult compared to a lot of the other Ultra Luck trials. I could be really underestimating him right now, but at the same time i don't think i am i feel like i've seen people just straight nuke this guy but then again i've seen people nuke other stuff it's like extremely difficult content so i guess we'll have to wait and see either way though gilliam is getting awoken you'll be able to obtain his true weapon and of course obtain his newest awakening if you want to know what changes with his awakening pretty much now he's able to increase his damage and also ignores the enemy's defense with his true art and then he gets his pretty solid true weapon for himself i guess if you have this equipped to him it'll increase his equipment damage by 20 percent and this also increases his own earth damage by 30 percent so of course he's an earth unit so it's just going to help him out even more apart from using somebody else uh, it's not really gonna be a thing maybe you could like throw this on like an earth damage dealer if you're nuking and you just don't have anything else but yeah that's gonna be that you need 20 fragments of course to obtain awoken gilliam and uh yeah there's really nothing else with him he didn't get anything else changed and if you want the new 120 luck unit that's all you gotta do it's just like that as for the other stuff that will be actually coming in this update um that's kind of it i, I know right like, that's kind of crazy <laughs> we did have the man the myth the legend announced Phantom Battle. If you guys don't know about Simon now, you guys have been living under a rock. I'm just going to say it. Simon, of course, is from the Phantom Sniper Saga. And at the current moment, is the antagonist of the Phantom Sniper Saga. And he's finally here. He killed Miranda in cold blood. I'll never forgive him. And now he's gunning for Haruto. And I'm always positive Haruto has plot armor. The newest dark attacker is in the game and this boy brings a glock and a nuke with him i'm gonna be honest if i have to sum up simon in one word damage this man does so much damage lots of deeps hard hardcore nuker not only is he like a hardcore nuker he's also a ramping damage dealer which is very interesting oh yeah and he has the new uh new mechanic phantom bullet phantom bullet we talked about this before in some other videos but i'll clarify it here as we're just going over a general overview of simon's kit phantom bullet that simon can use can be activated instead of his true art so you have to have 200 art gauge to even activate the phantom bullet once you have 200 true arts you swipe up twice and then you'll see the phantom bullet icon pop up i think you swipe again or you tap on simon again and then it will activate the phantom bullet the phantom bullet will deal a hundred thousand percent dark damage physical you increase your own accuracy by 100 percent and ignores 100 percent of the enemy's defense during during the phantom bullet yeah it's pretty crazy so he has a hundred thousand percent modifier on his phantom bullet he has ramping damage due to his normal art his true art reduces the enemy's dark and physical resistance and also increases his own art gauge by 50 and he has a passive that gives him 80 percent more attack and arts up by three per second while he's unaffected by any status ailments he's a pretty strong attacker and oh yeah he has his true weapon called true jaeger and this thing increases your own dark and physical damage by 40 percent and when it's equipped by simon you increase his attack by another 50 percent so this man simon has a lot of attack buffs if you using his true weapon with him which i feel like most people probably are just because the extra damage is going to be really nice as a passive or the extra attack plus you know the extra damage on top of it yeah so simon's looking really good i will say that of course it's very easy to get swept up in all the hype for simon but i want to say this right now and just state it just so people you know don't go crazy on this banner as soon as it drops simon is not a necessity by any means he is not as vital as someone like let's say earth haruto for an example it's not like that simon is a dummy stupid attacker let's not get that wrong here he's probably going to come out he's going to be one of the hardest hitting damage dealers in the game but he's not a necessity but i will not deny simon's very flashy he's very cool does tons of deeps i mean who wouldn't want him he's just a really dope unit 
And I kind of hope that I get lucky on him. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I'm going to be doing a summon video on him because I've been debating on that or not, but we'll see. You know, Dark Units and me, I feel like I kind of just got to get him every time a new one comes out. But, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. So, yeah, in terms of, like, what's coming in the next update, which is actually on the 17th, if I'm not mistaken. That's it. Simon, his new event. And I think something else is coming as well, but I don't exactly remember. And the only other thing that we have at the moment that we can go off of to know what is coming in the future is that we got this picture right here. Future updates to Magical Minds real-time pvp awoken reyes and auto redeploy of course we knew all these things were coming it was just a matter of when they were coming either way though that was the anniversary live stream that was some good stuff you know for their first one it wasn't like anything too crazy but they did announce simon and thankfully they didn't do a double banner with simon and haruto and overall i think it was a really good success i, I liked it and i hope they do more of it in the future i know it probably takes a lot of time but hey young p i'm just gonna say it here you did good. It was a good stream. But that's going to be it for this one. Thank you all for coming out. Tell me what you guys think about this update down below in the description. If you're going to be summoning on Simon, if you're going to be skipping. As for me, like I said, I'm probably going to be summoning, but we'll wait and see. But if you enjoyed this video, I highly recommend that you check out either one of these videos that are popping up on the screen right now. Very fun, very entertaining Grand Summoners content. And I guarantee that if you like this one, you'll love those videos. And oh yeah, before you leave, don't forget to drink water.